Remember back in a previous video, we showed you that you could use underscores in numbers in your source code to make them easier to read. We're doing that in this program that asks a person to enter a number greater than one million. A silly program, but I needed a short example. And the program works great. Unless, when we run it again, the user decides they want to enter a comma in their numbers. And then the program crashes. Now that we know about string methods, we can fix that and allow users to enter commas in their numbers. We'll take the user's string input and then reassign it after we replace all occurrences of comma with the empty string. And now the program allows numbers without commas and with commas. And that's how you can use the replace method to give users more flexibility when entering numbers.